Okay, next. A mountain peak at A is 1,040 meters above sea level. From mountain peak A, the angle of elevation of mountain peak B was 10 degrees. The pilot of Air Asia upon flying directly over peak A took the angle of depression of peak B equal to 46 degrees 12 minutes and read his altimeter to be 2,820 meters above sea level. Determine the elevation of the mountain uh, peak B. All right, so drawing natin yung mountain. So una, let's say this is the sea level. Okay. So that is zero elevation. So yung uh, mountain A daw, meron siyang certain elevation. no? So elevation niya, so let's set yung A. According to the problem, is 1,040. Um, okay. And then, we have another mountain, no? CB. So, the question now is, ano ba CB? Higher or lower kay A? So, dito kasi ang sabi, kapag meron ka ng observe, observer sa A, ang produce mo na angle is angle of elevation. So, ibig sabihin, yung B, mas mataas pa. Kung ito ay angle of depression, ibig sabihin, mas mababa yung B, no? So, let's say ito yung B. Okay. And uh, measured from A, may angle of elevation siya na 10 degrees. Okay? So, and then, meron pa isa. Sabi daw, meron uh, pilot. So, ibig sabihin, may airplane. No? So, may airplane sa ibabaw ng A. So, let's say, nandito yung airplane. Okay? Um, Minessure niya naman yung angle of depression ng B. So, ibig sabihin, masa taas yung airplane. Obviously, no? So, ito naman yun. So, ang angle of depression niya naman is 46 degrees, 12 minutes. Okay? And then, um, yung pilot, chinect daw yung elevation niya, it is 2,820. So, this is 2,800. Ayan. Huh? So, tinatanong lang sa atin, ano ba yung um, elevation na itong B? So, pinapahanap lang sa atin. So, kakita lang natin na H. Okay? So, of course, to calculate that, um, kakailanganin natin dito, hanapin itong, so, kapag mag-draw ako ng horizontal line, so, bali, kailangan natin to, no, yung height na yan. Okay, kasi once na meron tayo niyan, i-add lang natin yan sa 1,040. Yan na yung elevation ni B. No? So the question now is, paano ba yan ko compute in? Alright? So to compute that, there are multiple ways. Uh, isa na doon ay po pwede na sukate natin itong elevation na to. So itong elevation is basically difference lang ng 2,820 at saka ng 1,040. So, difference lang nila yan. So, that's 2,820 minus 1,040. So, that's 1,780. Okay. Okay. And then, isa pa, ay, uh, we can measure this angle, yun ang dito. No? So, how do we measure that? So, using uh, the principle of uh, opposite angles, so, di ba, pa nag-drawing ka ng horizontal line dito, ito ay 10 degrees din, no, opposite angles. Kasi ito naman ay 46 degrees, 12 minutes. So, ibig sabihin, pag inad natin yan, yun yung angle na to, that gives us 56 degrees, 12 minutes. Okay? And then also, we can calculate this angle. Since ito ay complement lang ng 10, this will be 90 minus 10. This will be 80 degrees. And then ganun din ito, complement lang ng 46 degrees 12 minutes. So that is 90 minus 46 degrees 12 minutes. So that gives us uh, 43, 48. Okay, so actually we can uh, consider this triangle. 
Now, if we consider the triangle, let me redraw that here para ma linus. So, this is your 80. This is your 43, 48. And this is your 56, 12. No? And then the measure of this side is 1780. So, actually, in order for us to calculate yung y, kailangan natin tong side na to, itong hypotenuse ng triangle na to. Okay? Kasi pag meron tayo ng hypotenuse ng triangle, makasolve na natin yung y. So, idawagin ko na lang ito na uh, z. So, to solve for z dito, we can just apply sine law. Okay? And that would be z over sine of 43 degrees, 48 minutes. Uh, equals 1780 over sine of 56 degrees, 12 minutes. Tama ba? Ayan. So we can solve for this. Cross multiply. Okay, that's over sine of 56, 12. So that gives us 1482.6. No? Okay, 6 uh, meters. No? meters. Ayan. Okay? And then this time, considering this triangle, so, alam na natin ngayon, no? so this would be 10. Tapos ito yung y. Tapos ito ngayon yung 14. 2.6. So, dito naman, madali lang to. We can just apply sine function. So, y is equal to 1482.6 times sine of 10 degrees. So, therefore, we can now uh, calculate y. So, nasagot natin, multiply lang natin ng sine 10 degrees. That gives us 257.45. Okay. So, finally, the height would be equal to Y plus 1,040, and that is plus 1,040. So, 127.45. One, one, and that is the elevation of peak B. All right, and that's our answer, letter E. So, that's how we solve this particular problem. Thank mm -hmm. you.